Hey guys, what's up? No review here, and today I have another tutorial. This is kind of Minecraft, kind of just in general, but I'm going to be using Minecraft for this tutorial. Now, what I'm going to do is um, teach you how to port forward with uh, Verizon FiOS internet. So, say you want to port forward your server. You would want to see what your port is. Why is that not working? <laughs> um, open with Notepad. <laughs> okay. So first, what you want to do is, well, the default port is 25565, but I made it 54321 for just, like, teaching purposes. So say your port is 54321, that's the port that you use at the end of the IP to connect to the server. So we want to forward that port. So what we want to go uh, do is go to your router settings. So what you do is uh, go to your browser and type in 192.168.1.1 and I'm already logged in but let me, let me just show you what it would bring you to. It would bring you to this page and your username would be either, if you changed it, it would be something different. Mine's admin and pa my password, it doesn't matter if I tell you but mine's password1. Um, if you didn't change any of this stuff then that means you, it's still on the default on the bottom of your router, so you need to look that um at that and type that in. So what you want to do is make a port forwarding rule, and to do that, you have to go to the advanced tab. Yes, you want to continue, and port forwarding rules, and scroll down and click the add button. And I'm just gonna name this tutorial server. You can't use spaces or whatever, so I just use that. And um, tutorial. So, you want to add the ports. The two protocols that you want to use is TCP, let the source port stay any, destination port single, and put that 54321. If you're keeping the default for Minecraft, it would be 25565. Apply that one, then you want to add another one, make this one UDP, this stays any, make this one single, and 54321. Like I said, if you're using the default for Minecraft, then it would be 25565. Actually, you want to click apply when you're done with that. This name is already in use by another protocol. Okay, I just named this 2. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so... Oh, see, yeah, I already have it here. That's for um, my Votifier tutorial. But, okay, so this is the forwarded ports that the server can run on. So, you got that set up, but it's not being used right now. So you want to go into your firewall settings, you want to click yes, go to port forwarding, then um, you click what host you want the port to be run off of. So I'm using this computer to run the server. If you're using a different computer then you click that one or whatever one and then you would have to run the server off of that computer or on the port out off of that computer like you know what I mean, hopefully. But I'm going to use this computer to run it off. And you want to select which port or application that you want to forward and for it to run on. So I named it Tutorial Server 2. This pops up with the ports, and you click Add. And it should have added. Yes, it says Unresolved. You just click Resolve now. And okay, it's good. So that means the ports forward and it's active, as you see right here at the status. So, you want to minimize that or exit out, whatever. And, like I said, in the server properties, you just change it to whatever port you forwarded, which mine was 54321, and then you uh, run the server. And it should work, if I'm not mistaken. I will actually open up Minecraft right now, just to make sure that it works. As bucket takes forever, as usual, to load up. Okay, it's starting. Blah blah blah. Alright, allow access. I don't know why I did that, but <laughs> okay, play. Okay, there was an error for some reason. With. Oh, it did uh, uh, plug in the tutorial on, but it never got up to. Alright, so it's pinging, and you see it's probably the wrong IP address. So let me go get the IP. There it is. You're gonna have to uh, get the IP of the server, and you want to paste it into Minecraft 
So paste that in. Ninja port 54321 at the end. Click done. Refresh it and it's up. And if it should work. And it works. As you see, I was doing testing stuff there. You see, I logged in successfully. Test right there. Make sure there's like no lag or whatever. But yeah, that's how to port forward a port for Minecraft or a port for any application. So yeah, if you um, enjoy this tutorial and found it helpful, please like and um, leave your feedback. And uh, subscribe for more tutorials. And make sure to leave suggestions in the comments below on what tutorial I should do next. Uh, see you guys later.